Meron ba kayong pangarap for your future? Meron pa kayong mga pinapangarap? Katulad ng magkural ng lupa, <laughs> gumawa ng bahay. So lahat, marami pa kayong pangarap? Okay? Yes! Meron ba kayong desire na sana I could be this kind of person? You know, pagkatao, aside sa pangarap, that you become this kind of person. Wala na? Ako ba hindi na. Okay, you, you feel perfect ka na? Hindi naman, pero it will just frustrate you if you will compare yourself if you want to aspire. Like, I just want to be Steve, Steve Jobs. I'm not asking you to compare yourself. I'm just asking you about you. Yes. Ay, ibig sabihin, wala na kayong pangarap na kuhan. Hindi ko ba sinabing pangarap ka ng ibang tao? Pangarap mo lang para sa sarili mo. Meron wala. So, ako, meron ako mga pangarap in the future. Pero alam ko rin, meron akong kulang. So, I also pray that sana God will make me this. Meron ba kayo ganun? Do you pray for those things? Do you pray that God will give you the desires of your heart? I want this as my future, but I also want this to become me as a person. Kamusta? Sinagot na ba kayo ni God? Yung mga pangarap ba nyo, yung ginawa na ba kanyang tao na, na gusto mo? Or di kaya nangyari na ba yung, or di kaya yung nangyayari sa inyo, is it aligned to the future you want? To many people, most of the time, nangyayari naman yon. However, often I notice, imbis na dumating yung gusto mo, mamaya maraming problema ang dumadating. You want to be the kind of you want to be this kind of person, pero mamaya may nangyayari that brings out the opposite. Na experience yun ba yun? Di ba? You, you pray, Lord, sana maging ganito ako, pero mamaya may lumalabas sa sitwasyon na imbis na naging ganun ka, yung kabaliktaran, like for example, wala naman dito si Pastor L. Di ba? Pastor yun, di ba? Pastor, he always wants to be nice to people. Pero pagdating na nun sa, sa kalye, Okay? Nagbabago yung... <laughs> yeah. Ako, ul ulitan ako sa, sa dalan, ha? Pero mas grabe ito ka ulitan si Pastor L. And, kung naman siya, agree naman siya, pati niya sinasabi, you want to be this kind of person, and yet, situations would just bring out the opposite. So, ang tanong ko, bakit when you pray the, for a good future and to be a good person, imbis na dumating yung gusto mong future, Mamaya dumarating yung problema. Like for example, let me give you an, uh, uh, an important example. Para si Joseph. Kanina tinanong ko kayo, di ba? Meron ba kayo mga pangarap in the future? Si Joseph meron. E meron siya tinawag niya yon a dream. Di ba? Meron siyang dream name in Genesis chapter 37. Tira natin doon ha. In Genesis chapter 37, verse 5 to 8, Meron siyang na dream. I don't know if it came from the Lord, pero yun yung dream niya. And let me just read that, no? Verse 5, sabi niya, Then Joseph had a dream. And when he told it to his brothers, they hated him even more. And he said to them, Please listen to this dream which I have had. For behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and lo, my sheaf, rose up and also stood erect. And behold, your sheaves gathered around and bowed down to my sheaf. Then his brother said to him, Are you actually going to reign over us? So nagalit sa kanya. Galit sila because favorite son siya. But galit din sila sa dream niya. No question. Is it wrong for Joseph to dream that he would rule over his brothers? Is it wrong? You think about it. David was the youngest of eight brothers and he became king over the whole family. So there was nothing wrong with that dream. Pero that dream, did that dream bring him any good things? What happened to, he, to Joseph after he shared that dream? Okay, binenta siya ng kapatid niya as a slave. So he became a slave as a slave. What kind of slave was he? He was a good slave. He worked hard, di ba? He worked hard, he excelled. And yet, in spite of that, nakulong for something he did not do. Nung nasa kulungan na siya, he was very helpful to a lot of people. And yet, the story said 
Noong nakatulong na siya sa ibang tao, nakalimutan siya nung tinulungan niya. Let me ask you a question. Kung kayo si Joseph, how would you feel? Di ba, ang ganda ng panaginip mo, di ba? Panaginip mo na you, you will reign over your family. Wala naman masama doon. Wala naman siya sinabing masama. So, mayroon kayo magandang panaginip. Tapos, instead of the dream coming true, katakot-takot na problema ang dinaanan. So, ang tanong ko, if you were Joseph, how would you feel if your brothers or your family sells you to be a slave? How would you feel? Bad. You'd feel bad. Bad lang ba? Bad lang ba mauraramdaman mo? <laughs> ha? Hatred. How would you feel? You'd feel hatred. You'd feel angry. Di ba? Now, how would you feel if your boss, di ba, if your boss sent you to jail, even though you were faithful to him. You know, he was a faithful slave. Eh? How would you feel? How would you feel towards your boss? Okay? Din hi, marami tayong mga testimony of people expressing their feelings. Okay kayo, magdasara, pero meron tayong mga feelings sa boss natin. We get angry when they abandon us, when you feel they've abandoned you. And then, how would you feel pag yung mga kaibigan mo Sana mo, tinulungan mo, tapos hindi ka tinulungan in return. How would you feel? May tanong ako sa inyo. All this experience, how will that affect you as a person? Will that... Huh? It will create bitterness. It will create bitterness. Will you be happy? No. Pero si Joseph, in spite of that, he was very... You know, he was still peaceful, he was confident. So, ang tanong ko, may message, bakit minsan, nung nangarap ka for a good future, and ask God, make me a good person, imbis na maganda ang nangyari, adversities would come, problems would come. Nangyari na ba sa inyo yun? Parang sa similya, no? After graduation, ng, ng, ng training niyo, what happens? Ano nangyari? Katakot-takot, sunod-sunod na trial and problema. Nung dumating yung adversity, nung dumating yung mga problema, anong tingin mo dun sa dream mo? Excited ka ba padating na yung dream mo? Nung nagsunod-sunod yung problema? Di ba mama, isipin mo, hindi naman totoo yun eh. Talagang dream lang yun. Ngayon, bangumot na siya. Okay? Kasi, imbis na maganda nangyari, problema ang dumating. So, and I notice yan. Whenever, whenever, especially sa Similia, no? pagkatapos ng training, they all have this nice uh, future that they look forward to. Tapos mamaya, ayan na. Sunod-sunod na na problema. Na mamaya, nalalayo na yung future. Okay? Marami rin nangyayari dito na tinuruan namin sila magdala ng pera. Mamaya, lalong nawalan ng pera. Okay? Mabuti na lang to si Ryan at si Jude. Pero sa sum- sa, sum- sa sum- Katong sa absubod, wala mang yapon, di ba? Ngayon lang yan, after a while. Ang tanong ko, nung nangarap ka, pinag-pray mo to kay God to be this kind of person, to have this kind of future, then nagka-problema. Sinagot ka ni God, hindi. To many people, hindi ka sinagot ni God. In fact, I, I, I saw this post sa kaibigan ko, sabi niya, explaining, when God does not answer your prayer. Hindi na yan. Ito pangarap, ito desire, iba nangyari. Hindi sinagot ni God yung prayer. Ang tanong ko, sinagot ka o hindi? Sinagot naman. Ha? Sinagot ka. Sinagot ka? Okay, so yung pangarap mo, sinagot? Um, sa akin, pero yung sa kanya lang ang inanong mo. Ha? Paraan sa kanya. Ano paraan? Waste niya. Okay. We know that eventually yung dream ni Joseph nagkatoto. Diba? Eventually, the brothers came and really bowed down to him. The first time that happened, we see that in Genesis chapter 42. Genesis 42, verse 6. Okay, sabi ng Genesis 42, verse 6, Now, Joseph was the ruler of the land. 
and he was the one uh, he was the one who sold to all the people of the land and Joseph's brother came and bowed down to him with their faces to the ground so ikaw ito si Joseph first time mo nakita yung lahat ng kapatid mo andyan and they were actually bowing now how would you feel? first time ha? this was the dream oh this was the dream, oh, this was the dream. how would you feel? <laughs> how would you feel? Now, ito na mga kapatid mo, binenta ka. How would you feel? The first time, this was the first time they they came, nakita mo sila ulit for me, after many years. How would you feel? Imagine yourself. How would you feel? Wait, lang mo. Oh, di ba? In fact, in fact he, he did so many things para lang baka isa sa kanila. Binalik yung pagkain, pero pinahuli, para may pinaiwan. He actually acted on his anger. So, those things made him angry. Pag dumaan ka ba doon, yun ang, yun ang tinuturo sa ni God, that emotion of anger. Question. May, on one side, anger. Ano ang opposite ng anger? Ha? Pag galit ka sa tao, okay? Galit ka sa tao. Ano opposite ng when the situations when the situation make you angry? Ano dapat ang opposite ng anger? At may gentleness. Can you turn your Bibles to Genesis 50? So Genesis 50, the second time his brothers bowed down to him. Genesis 50, basahin ko, 19 to 20. Sabi ng verse 9. And Joseph said to them, Do not be afraid, for I am, God's, I, I am in God's place. As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good in order to bring about this present result, to preserve many people's lives. Anong pinagkaiba no first time sila nag-bow down, the second time sila nagbawa daw. What did he realize? Naluoy na siya. Naluoy na siya? Yung realize niya? What did he realize? The second time they bowed down, what did he realize? Doon sa binasa natin. It was a work of God. Okay? Yung una, nung galit siya, it was the work. Ngayon, makakaisa ko. This time, it is God's work. Di ba? Yung kaluoy niya is only because of realizing it is God's work. So yung pinagdaanan ninyo, when you have this dream, I'm sure you have, when you were young, you have this nice dream. Diba? You also want to, ha, you also want to have this nice character. Okay? Tapos dumating yung problema. Imbis na maganda nangyari, adversities when came to your life. So many people would say, hindi, 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 hindi ako dininig ni God. Kasi hindi niya binigay eh. Si Joseph, dumaan doon, pero later he realized it was all God's work. Okay? No question. If Joseph did not go through what he went through, what kind of king would he have been? What kind of leader would he have been? Hindi niya dinaanan yung dinaanan niya. Ano siya magiging leader? Arrogant. He would be arrogant. He would have no compassion. So God actually answered his prayer, answered the dream. So therefore, even when he was struggling, God was already answering his prayer. Parang kayo. All your struggle, meron kayong panaginip na maganda in the future. Tapos maraming problemang dumating. Nung dumating yung adversities, nung dumating yung problema, ano, ano, ang, ano, ang, ano ang ginawa ng problema sa inyo? Yeah, the Bible called it adversities. Anong ginawa ng, ng adversities, adversities sa inyo? Did, did, did the adversity make you rely on God? What did the adversity do to you? Change, Change, Change you? Is that the first thing it did? Ha? Huh? What did the adversity do to you before it changed you? Showed your character. Oh, 
or showed you who you are. Di ba, minsan, minsan mag-uusap tayo, no? Pag sabi ko, ganito, ganito, sabi ko, ganyan naman ako. Ganun naman talaga kayo? Until adversity comes. Then malalaman nyo kung sino kayo. Di ba, before God can change you, He must first expose who you are. But di ba? Because you will never change unless you agree na problema. So when problems come, the adversity is just showing you, sabi parang si God is telling you, ito gusto mo. Paano, ka, paano tayo pupunta doon kung ito ka pa ngayon? Pero God will help to first show you who you are in order to bring you to where you want to be. The first thing adversities would do is to show you who you are. So that it can teach you to endure. You want endure. Endure yung problema. Okay? Habang tumatagal yung problema, anong sunod na mangyayari sa inyo? Habang tumatagal, lalo masakit. Anong, anong gagawin ngayon ng adversity sa inyo? Make you stronger. Resilient. Make you resilient. How can you become resilient? Accept uh, no, no, no. the, the, the next thing, the, the next thing adversity is due to you is to humble you. The only way you can be resilient is when you are humble already. Because if you're not humble, you would want to get out of the situation. Adversity doesn't make you strong unless you, it, it achieves the humility you need. And then, pag humble ka na, then we change. Di ba? So, when adversities come to your life, you know, today, dami yung nagtatanong sa akin parati, how do I know if I am where God wants me to be? Bakit? Kasi tumatahan sila sa problema eh. And I often tell them, if God is God, you are exactly where you want to be. Where, where He wants you to be. Okay? Hindi problema yung sitwasyon. So, alam nyo, yung sitwasyon ninyo noon, reklamo nyo, reklamo ninyo sa mga boss nyo, reklamo nyo sa trabaho nyo, it is exactly what God wants you to go to. Is there a problem sa trabaho nyo? Yes. Ha? Wala yung problema sa trabaho nyo. Sa ano may problema? Sa trabaho. 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 You perceive it as a problem. Okay? Is there a problem with your bosses? Marami. Pero may pro- boss ba talaga niyo may problema? Hindi. Kayo. Di ba? You understand what I'm telling you? There's really no problem with our situation. Kaso lang tama si, tama si, John, we perceive it as a problem. Then problema siya. Only because we perceive it as a problem. Si Joseph did not perceive it as a problem. He perceived it as an opportunity. And he would often excel. And then God would bring him to another problem. He would again excel. And I really believe that si Joseph survived because of his attitude towards adversities. That he would realize na siya ang problema. You have to understand yung problema, yung problema, everybody's going through it. Some people will respond properly, some people will not. So, sino ngayon ang problema? So, for example, na-realize that problema, is God, is God cruel that He would expose yung, yung weaknesses ninyo? No, God loves you very much. Let me, what do, I, what do I mean? Can you turn your Bibles to Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 14? Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 14 Sabi niya, in the day of prosperity, be happy. In the day of adversity, consider, God has made the one as well as the other. Diba? Ginawa niya yun, inalaw niya yun sa buhay niyo. Now, look at Proverbs 16.4. Sabi ng Proverbs 16.4 the Lord has made everything for its own purpose. Even the wicked for the day of evil. You see, I'm realizing lahat ng nangyayari sa atin, walang kinalaman ang demonyo. It is all God. Because He would even use the devil to accomplish His purpose. It is all God. 
God. So the adversities that come into our life is God's answer. When you pray for something good in the future, He sends you adversity not because He wants you to suffer, but He wants He wants to prepare you for what you want. You see, I always tell you, I always tell you, God will have to match your character with the blessing that you want. So I just I, I need you to understand that God always answer prayers. That God always answer prayer. Kaso lang hindi lang yun yung gusto mong answer. Ang gusto mo maganda kagad. Pero paano niya bibigay yung maganda pag hindi ka ready mag accept? So may tanong ulit ako sa iyo. Marami bang problema ang trabaho niyo? <laughs> Ayaw <Ayon> nito. <laughs> May problema ba mga boss nyo? Ayaw yun na sumagot, no? Sa akin na lang yun. <laughs> Kasi. Diba at the end of the day, when the, oh, at the end of the day, the situation just exposed who we are. Kasi we can always respond better. Now, I am not telling you this out of nowhere. I am telling you this also because I have certain struggles. And when I struggle, I realize, one, I don't have the fruit of the Spirit. There are, I have many weaknesses that is being exposed. Diba? Pero pag hindi ako nag-struggle, when I think of them, no, okay, every, okay pala natin. Now that I struggle and as I endure, I, I now ask, baka daw ikaw problema? Baka naman talaga eh, diba? Kasi wala ka nang magagawa sa kanila eh. Ang wala ka magagawa sa kanila, ano gagawin mo? Sarili mo na lang ang pakialaman mo. So that means whatever's going, whatever, whatever adversities around you, at the end of the day, it is just for you, not for anyone else. So they think, "Wow, ah, may problema ba sa trabaho?" I have so many challenges. Mayroong mga challenges. Marami. Marami. Hindi Mara- problema sa challenges na yan. Di mo marami naman eh. Pero all, of course, if gusto ko lang maintindihan niyo, it's for your good. One. Ano one? One, nag, one na, 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 nag-apply ka sa trabaho. So, doon nag-apply ka sa trabaho, ito hindi ko maintindihan. Bakit mo in-expect na walang problema sa trabaho? Di ba kaya ka nga andyan, hinahal ka para isolve yung problema? <laughs> so, ba't ka nagre-reklamo? Di ba that's exactly why you are there? To solve those problems? So, why complain? <coughs> We complain about our authorities. But you see, you can always respond properly to your authority. You can complain about your family. You cannot complain about them or you can just adjust. Diba? You can look at them as a blessing or you can look at them as a curse. When you look at them as a curse, what will happen? You become bitter. When you look at them as a blessing, you will just find joy in what is whatever is happening around you. Diba? At the end of the day, time. So, did God answer your dream and your desire to be a better person? Because that dream will never be good unless He prepares you and your talent. Ako, I'm realizing today, God always answer our prayers. Ayaw lang. Ayaw lang natin yung sito. Okay, si Tita, gusto niya, nawala na siyang gamot. Oh, pwede Basta may matching na ugali. Pero without the proper character, it will never happen. At the end of the day, whatever you're going through is preparing you for something. Oh, I, I got encouraged the story with Joseph. Because I realized he was betrayed by the pe- by important people. He was betrayed by his brothers. He was betrayed by his boss. He was betrayed by his friends. And yet he responded properly. So, God used him in a mighty way. But at the end of the day, it was all God. It was not the work of anybody. It was all God. God answered his prayer. So, kamusta? Marami pa ba kayong problema sa trabaho? <laughs> wala na daw, wala na. Wala na. Oo. Oh, diba, yung problema, problema naman talaga yan. Hindi ko masasabing hindi problema. Siya problema siya. Pero di ba, the reason andun tayo sa trabaho na yun, because tayo dapat ang mag-ayos ng problema. When we complain about them, tayo ngayon ang problema. Di ba? 
Ryan, tapos pa rin mata. Bakit pag nag-retire na tingin niyo, feeling niyo everything will be okay? Hindi ah, naman. Kala niyo wala nang problema pag nag-retire kayo. Another phase. Uh, oh, another problem. When you're not ready in for retirement, like for example, today everybody desires retirement kasi hindi sila ready sa pera nila. Kala niyo maganda yung ritmo. Maganda yung sinabi ni Maganda yung sinabi ni John Timay sa akin last week. Eh. Sabi niya, mga ando'y tag-retirement para madaming pera then we retire to fund our laziness. Huwag <laughs> naman doon. Pero gano'n naman karami yung nag-retire, di ba? Naghanda ng maraming pera para wala nang gagawin. Hindi naman desire ng maraming tao. Okay. To fund the, our Relax. laziness. Meron pa naman siguro ang gagawin mo but not in the same magnitude as Meron akong tanong dyan, Chabi, yung yung concept na not the same magnitude. When you retire, when you retire, you will not be doing the same work. However, ako believe ko, whatever money you receive will not be enough to sustain you until you die. So pag nagnegosyo ka, do you think it will be easier? 24-7 na ito eh. Oh, 24-7. Exactly. 24-7 na yun. Yeah, and fact, si, si Pastor L shared that one in May. Siya na. Kung ito ako sa similya ka naka-relax pa siya. Natulog pa. Si Rodian, ang empleyado okay. Ang empleyado, Karun, na pag nakauli na, na ang, ang negosyante, hindi mo gihapong problema. Ayan lang mo. Alzheimer's disease, hindi na sa'yo. <laughs> Pag magdegosyo ka lang, pero pwede man ka mag, pwede man ka mag sedentary life, ayoko na magtrabaho. But I'm telling you, whatever money you receive will not be. Pag nagnegosyo negosyo ka na, it will not be laborious work. Not laborious, pero ang dami-dami mong iniisip. Tao, sweldo, income, talagang yung mas madali. So, so tiyan, pag inisip mo, hindi na siya ganun kahirap po siya. Ang negosyo mas madali. See, what I mean though, uh, when you retire, the nature of the work that you'll be doing will not be the same as what you are exactly. doing. Exactly. So, ang tanong ko lang, will it be easier or will it be... Uh, it will be a lot, uh, hindi naman easier, but... It's all about choice. Meron ka lang, oh, kasi may choice ka na. Uh, for me, ha? May choice ka, hindi naman combo, but you have a choice whether you take it. Siguro kanya-kanya, pag may choice ka pero pag naubos na yung pera mo, ano nangyayari sa mga retiree na hindi alam ano gagawin? They go back to work. They go back to employment. Pag hindi mo napalaki yung retirement money mo through business, you go back to work. That's right. So, now when you do business, it's a, it's a, it's a very difficult... It's another... It's, a difficult, it's more difficult, ha? Na it may not be katulad ng labor mo as an employee. Yeah. It is more difficult. Yeah. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to be able to worship. We thank you, Lord, for uh, the things that you have revealed. I pray, Father, that we will continue to understand whatever adversity we are going through. Mm -hmm. All this comes from you. 